Hey guys, good morning. It's Josh. So listen, uh, I'm glad that headline got your attention. Thanks for tuning in. I'm going to make this brief, but if you're paid like I am on commission or by production, you're going to want to know what February's economic numbers uh, were just released this week. There's two really important pieces that I want to share with you. The first one has to do with unemployment. Last month in the month of February, the economy lost about 36,000 jobs, which at face value doesn't sound that great. But if you look at the last four months in regards to the number of jobs we've lost as compared to the previous six months, we're down 90%, which means that we're stemming our losses 90%. That is an absolute huge turnaround, and we've now had four months in a row at pretty consistent uh, job losses between, let's say, uh, 20 and, and 40,000 where we were uh, closer to half a million at certain points uh, previous in the year. So that's a, a really important piece that it looks like we're starting to turn the corner on, on job losses. And as I see it, that is the biggest threat to our economy and to our local real estate. We simply can't continue to sell homes and we simply can't continue to uh, have a chance at stopping foreclosures if we're losing massive numbers of jobs. So that's an important piece for you to know. Also, um, Real Realty Track is reporting that foreclosures across the country were down for a second month in a row in February. So I think that's obviously the second most dangerous thing that we have going as real estate professionals is that the flood of foreclosures continues to hit the market. More supply, pro pr prices drop, and that makes a really different, difficult selling environment. So. I've attached both of these articles to this message. If you scroll straight down, you're going to see two Word documents that are attached. You can utilize these in your blogs. You can forward them on to friends, on to uh, potential clients. I think these are important pieces of information to get out and I think will be very important in predicting our incomes over the rest of this year. One last thing before I let you go here today, I've added two new features or widgets as they're called to my blog and these are, these are great widgets that you can use daily. I've got an interest rate tracker that has the 30 year fix, the 15 year fix, the 5 year arm and the 1 year arm right on my blog so you can go there and check interest rates every day. And I also have an FHA loan limit widget which means that every single county has a different loan limit size for one unit, two unit, three unit, and four unit homes. And there's a widget on my blog now that'll tell you county by county, whether you're one, two, three, or four unit, exactly what your loan limits are. So you won't have to Google that or try and look that up. Check out www.joshisblogging.com. And while you're there, please take a moment and subscribe to my blog through an RSS, an RSS feed, excuse me, or uh, you can simply add your email address in there and then every time a new blog post is uh, posted, you'll get just a very quick update and a little preview of what the blog post is about and you can see if you're interested in going up and checking out the blog. That's it for the week, guys. I hope you find these articles interesting and I hope that you're using them as talking points with your clients as I am to get these fence sitters moving before uh, the deadlines we have coming up. Any questions or if I can be of service, don't hesitate to contact me. Take care.